do do holy crap this camera <laughs> welcome back today we have another art snacks review um, first thing that you might notice this video looks a little bit different I got a brand new camera fancy fancy hopefully a little higher quality will um, well I like it better so that's that's what matters to me um, <laughs> um, so we got a new art snacks review box so let's get into it and of course, if you like these videos, if you like reviews, and I'm going to be trying to do a few other fun things um, starting soon, make sure that you click subscribe, you click the notification bell, as well as give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see all the other awesome work that I'm doing, because I don't put everything on YouTube, make sure you follow me on my other social media channels. That's Designed by Mercedes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and Design Mercedes on Twitter. So let's get into the video. So once again, Art Snacks always provides us with this tiny little packaging. Again, I get the smaller size box because I do not need the substrate. I have so much paper, it is a little ridiculous. Um, you always get a snack and the card that I never really look at. I am going to try to be better though about putting what um, materials have come in the box into the description box in case you were interested in any of them. So first out of the box, of course, is our little snack, Raspberry Airhead, totally my favorite. I will have a blue tongue for the rest of this video. Uh. <laughs> so we begin with our little art snacks bundle. Let's see what we got this time. Okay, few items in here that look new. Um, to start with, as always, they give you their little logo as a sticker with a different pattern inside. It's cute. If you already have one, you're going to end up with a bunch if you buy these. Have a Tombow Art Pro marker. Um, we've gotten a bunch of Tombow products before from them. Um, this is a dual sided marker in purple, felt tip on one side, chisely tip on the other side. Um, it's an alcohol based marker. So that'll be fun. Whew. Smell coming off that marker is a little much though. Um, next out of the bin is... Okay, so next coming out of the bin, once again, another pencil. So it's funny, when I started ordering these boxes, I never got pencils. I think in the last three or four consistently, I have gotten pencils. Um, so this is a Graph Gear, uh, it's by Pentel. It's another mechanical pencil. Um, I don't know if anyone else feels like this. Like, what, what's your thought on mechanical versus like your traditional pencils? Um, like I love having like full graphite pencil sets from like you know HB and all those but it seems that I always gravitate towards a mechanical pencil to do my sketches anyways even though I have full pencil sets like I just I don't know what it is is anyone else like that let me know in the comments and then next up the next two things look like fun little goodies so the first one is oh you're gonna be a brush tip <laughs> you know how i feel about brush tips not my favorite so this looks like one of those brush tip pens and we've gotten a few like this before um not the same brand i do not believe they are the same brand as the ones we've gotten before um this being a tambien and the other one that we got out of it was uh Semelia. um let's see what brand this is because unfortunately it is written in japanese and i cannot read japanese so let's find out what brand this is 
Okay. So this actually looks like it is a Pentel art pen. This is another one of those, um, one of those, like, you have to unscrew it and pop the ink in it. Um, but is it arts color brush? So let's take the little ring off of it, get this back on here. It is listing that it's in the color gray. Um, so let's see if I can get this all situated in here. Um, okay, so we have to put this back on here. Oh, I'm dumb. It says Pentel on the... If I looked for 30 more seconds. So it's a Pentel product. Um, and apparently you're just supposed to put it on here and squeeze. And this is how I end up getting ink all over me, isn't it? Ooh, you can hear the little ink gluggles. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Okay, so I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear the ink like swooshing around in there. Um, so we'll see. Oh, there it is. There's the ink coming out. So this is a gray. It looks, it's a, like a portable, um, like dry pen, brush pen. Um, so yeah, so we'll see how we do with this. Okay, and this last piece that we got is a Cure Take. Oh, I can't say this. Cure Take Cocorio Letter Pen. Um, this looks real fancy. Good packaging. Don't use your teeth. Ooh, oh, there's little cows all over it. I love sometimes the packaging that comes in these things. How adorable it looks. Look at that. Oh, this is very fancy. So it's tiniest of little pen tips here. And it almost like real fine line there. So this will be interesting to use because this this looks this is just a really nice pen and it's really cute. I really like this before I've even used it just because there's cows all over it. It's so cute. Okay. So Let's reiterate what we got in this box. We only got four things in this box. Sometimes we get four or five. Sometimes it's a little bit more, a little bit less, but today we got four. Um, so again, we got our graphite pen, um, graphite pencil, our fine lettering uh, pen, our gray um, brush tip, as well as our dual-sided marker in purple. So give me a little bit I'm going to think about it and we'll come back and um, see what I make. Okay, so as we are getting into this video, I just want to say thank you all for watching. And again, if you like these videos, if you like the reviews, make sure that you click subscribe, you click the notification bell, and you give this video a thumbs up. And again, if you want to see other things I'm working on, make sure you follow me on my other social media channels, Design by Mercedes on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and Design Mercedes on Twitter. Now let's get into the drawing. So I did a very small piece for this one, starting out with a pencil. It's a really nice pencil. We've been getting some actually really great mechanical pencils out of the box for this one. Um, I like it. It's a mechanical pencil, works great. I think I prefer a different one that they sent before just for the shape of it. You notice how I'm holding it a lot higher up. I didn't really like that middle grip, but it's fine. It's a pencil. It works wonderful. 10 out of 10. And if you are interested, I am actually using the Lennox Cotton Paper by Legion. Legion, we are paper is their little 
tagline. Um, I personally really, really like this paper. I got it in, I believe, the Inktober box, and I have become obsessed with it now because it works great. Okay, so first we are going in with our wonderful brush tips. So again, you know how I feel about brush tips. Not really a fan. Um, this one was better than the last ones that we received. However, it is another one of those, it does not dry immediately. Um, again, which I, I know, but I rush things and I set my hand in them. Um, it did like the color that it was giving off. Um, I did try it on a mixed media paper as well though, and it really did not soak into the surface at all. It was very odd. Um, so yeah, I don't know. It's, it's supposed to be like a watercolor, but it's not like a watercolor pen. So it, it's okay. I'm going to give it like seven out of 10. Okay, so now we're on to that Tambo alcohol based marker. Um, it does smell a lot, like it's a heavy smell marker, um, but pretty nice. Um, I did like the coverage. I think it would probably be better on maybe a different paper because it didn't blend as nicely. And I don't know if it's the paper or if it's because the alcohol, I don't know. I'm not an expert, not, I, I don't know, but it's, it's a nice color. Um, it did work really nicely. I just was looking, I guess, for a little bit more of a nice blend together. Again, could be the paper I'm using. Um, but I don't know. Um, which I don't particularly mind the lines that it was leaving it because it was giving the drawing a little bit more movement to it. Um, but yeah, overall pretty nice. I like that it's dual sided. Um, you know, six out of 10. Okay, so now we're on to the letter pen. First off, this thing was adorable. Um, I love the packaging on it. It was also just really nice for these finer lines. Um, a little bit different than the fine liner pens normally. It, there was definitely like more fluidity to it. Um, it's, it's just a really, really nice pen and honestly helpful that it's a cure take. Um, I really like their stuff. They usually have really great products. Um, so I highly enjoyed this pen. I may actually just use it though as like a writing pen. Um, because I just really like it. It's it's so cute. I love the little cows and the little milk on it, but it's also just a really nice quality pen. This one I will give a 10 out of 10 to. So now I did go back in with that, um, that ink brush tip pen again, and it did with the marker give really nice depth to the drawing. So it, it, not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, Realistically, the entire box that I got, not too bad this time, um, gave a few good staples, gave some other things that I can use, will use. Um, so overall, I'm going to give this box, we'll give it a 7 out of 10 for the entire box, just because the two pens are like, the two like marker coloring pieces are, they're not bad, not my favorite, but they're not bad. Um, so yeah, and again, thanks for watching all the way through. Hope you liked the review and uh, we'll see you next time.